Hello and Assalamu alaikum. I am Abzal Badsha and today in this video I am going to discuss the literature portion of your thesis or your paper. But before going to start this video, I am going to ask some question about the literature that why do you read literature? Why do you search a good paper? Why do you uh, read all these things? So the first one is do you think that you review the literature to get the background knowledge of your topic? Or do you think that you are reading all these things to get the research gap related to your topic? Are you going to do the literature to get some future direction related to your topic? Or you, uh, do you think that you are uh, uh, summarizing the literature to write down your thesis chapter? Or you are summarizing all these things to write the literature? the related work section of your paper or you are searching a good or a big player of your uh, your area so what is uh, your thinking what do you think all these uh, what do you think about all these things what you may think but for all these things a good literature is very important okay and for a literature selection and for literature reviewing and summarizing all these parameters are very important because with these uh, questions you can get a good paper and with all these good paper you get you can get the answer of all these uh, good questions my suggestion for you when you do a research work in the literature portions select a good literature a literature a paper and articles which are written by a good author a paper which is cited most and the paper which are published in a good journal when you select good when you read good definitely will produce a good article you definitely you will write a good articles so how you will get that this paper is good this is not good this is matching to your work and this is not for this you can check that is this paper is written by any a good player you can check this is this paper is published with uh, published by any good journal because a good journal publish paper after proper review process after the accepting uh, process and you have also checked the citations of the paper citations mean for example i am going to uh, read some papers and in these papers i have to cite only few papers only those papers whose quality is good and uh, the paper organization is good and also this is matching exactly with my topic if the paper uh, have the citation definitely the paper will be good so for your literature please select a good paper because with a good paper you will be a good writer you will be a good paper organizer and you will be a good researcher for all that uh, when you continue your research we continue the uh, we, we may divide the literature process in different steps for example first we do planning in the planning we think that what is our area what is our uh, basic research gap which we are going to investigate and for that gap what type of parameters we have said which we have to search in other articles because the if the basic parameters basic variables is not clear to you you will not be able to search any paper because for example if you have selected a five uh, uh, variables you have selected a five parameters and according to these five papers you have to search papers if the paper is not discussing your variable they are not discussing your parameters why do you will read this paper because one paper take time it take few days because with one read you are not able to get anything from that so play, uh, you 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 are going to to have a good planning because with this planning you are going to uh, search your paper after planning when you have selected your topic when you have selected little bit of your parameters and you are now aware about that what is your um, uh, basic problem after that you search the paper and in the searching paper you collect the paper from different type of lab, uh, uh, different type different type of sites from libraries and from digital libraries and when you search paper for first time you uh, uh, you just see the in title of the paper if the title is matching with your uh, article after that you review its 
uh, you read its abstract and after that you its summary and and if it is matching and you think that the paper is good and it is matching with your task after that you go toward the whole paper you uh, read its everything its algorithm its mathemat uh, mathematics portions uh, its uh, also its literature and the experimental setting that how they have experimentally organized all these things and how they have concluded all these works after searching and after uh, reading you are going to analyze this paper according to your work according to your parameters and according to this analysis you have to select that this paper is going to uh, match with which of your parameters you are uh, analyzing and organizing your literature according to that for example in my in my research i have organized my literature because i'm working on that revenue maximization and any business especially in the cloud computing that it may depend on different parameters for example it may depend on the cost it may depend on the customer satisfaction it may depend on the resource utilization so according to that you have to subdivide your literature into different variables into different parameters and according to that you are going to place your paper in in these columns in these groups or according to these chunks after that you are going to write the summary you are going to summarize this paper in the sum uh, uh, in the summary i will suggest you to write two summary the first summary may be of uh, of the few lines and and the other summary may be a good paragraph the f the first summary which you are going to uh, summarize the paper in the few lines you may use this summary uh, anywhere in the paper you may you may uh, cite and you may uh, refer to this paper with this few lines and with the whole paragraph you may use this paragraph into the literature section of your paper or you are going to place this into the uh, into the your th uh, in, into your thesis literature sections after summary you are going to drafting drafting and writing summaries we can say th that these are the same things but how you are going to draft this paper how you are going to draft the literature for that you have to know that how we write academically you must know that how academically we write and i will also discuss that how academically we will write our paragraphs so when you are going to summarize you are going to draft uh, all these things you first know that you write the header of every paragraph so you must write the header of the uh, uh, summary of the paper which you are going to summarize and after this header this header must explain that what the paper discuss what is the basic issue in this paper and after this header in the next in the body of this paragraph you uh, summarize in detail that what this paper discussed what the author suggest and what the author proposed in this paper and for that you use special words uh, these words are very important these drafting connecting uh, words are very important because if you know the good connection words the good linking words your writing will be good there will be a flow in your writing and when the reader read it it will get happiness f uh, from your reading and he will good uh, and he will uh, come to know that yes you are a good writer so you must know you must search that what type of wording you you may use uh, to draft to to, to draft the summary and i inshallah i will discuss into the uh, into my next uh, uh, in in the next video and after drive, uh, during the draft uh, drafting at the last you write the limitation you may criticize the uh, uh, the paper the methodology or you may write the lim the limitation and when you write the limitation exactly you have to search good words then exactly they have done a good work they have proposed any methodology they have proved this according to the, uh, their experimental setup a good journal has published these things definitely this is a good effort they have uh, done very good but you have to write some limitation there too then how you are going to match 
to link your limitation with this paper with this limitations this is little bit complex this is not a difficult thing but this is little bit a uh, little bit complex for this you have to search good words you have to uh, review some good type of papers that how they are going to link all the paragraph with each other and uh, one thing more which is the more important uh, which is about the citation because uh, for example you are a c and you are reading uh, any research paper b and b have cited a so at this point you are not going to cite b in your paper you will go to the a you will read all paper you will read this article the book or any other source and after that you will conclude this in your paper you are not going to depend on the uh, second or third source you are going to cite you are going to write the primary source so for further explanation uh, how to get the literature how to collect the literature how to uh, elaborate the literature and how to summarize it please watch the next videos thank you so much